Well, Tuesday we had unprecedented access at Seahawks camp. If you saw it, uh, Pete Carroll opened up camp all day to our cameras and it gives us a chance now to look closely guys at what teams are trying to accomplish. Uh, we'll see the video. You tell us what we're looking at because sometimes it's not always easy to tell. And we start with the individual period of the day. Well, this can you say one part of the day is the most important that yeah. one period would it be the, the total team I would say that but you know the, the, the most important period be available they're all important they're all <laughs> so no so no you cannot important. they're all important all right if you're the Seattle Seahawks the number one thing you need to accomplish at camp is well, you know down for another title they've lost six big time players on defense along with Golden Tate on offense how do you replace those guys and they've gone from the hunted hunters to the hunted uh, Drew Brees by the way an accurate quarterback actually uh, Peterson was thrilled and he took Twitter he took to Twitter to celebrate that's right and you see it behind me look at this list happy to announce my five-year extension with the Arizona Cardinals 70 million and 48 million of it a guaranteed okay you see the hashtags and then who's chiming in none other than the man who likes to chime NFC West rival Richard Sherman. Sherman could not resist. No, he responded by uh, retweeting Cody Schwartz, a columnist for Bleacher Report. Richard Sherman and Patrick Peterson combining to allow eight touchdown passes in 2013. Uh, Peterson gave up seven of those. Sherman also today tweeting a picture. It was, wasn't, it wasn't good. And I'll tell you, you know, before we talked about the defense with Brian, uh, Joe Flacco couldn't it couldn't be upright. I mean, the, the line allowed 48 sacks. A lot, of, you know, the quarterback has some of it to blame, of course, but that's got to be changed. And yeah. you know what you were saying, Jerome, the line's going to be better, and they're going to have to be. Uh, but I want to get to the defense. This team was eight and eight a year after winning the Super Bowl. Brian, what happened defensively that brought this club down? Well, uh, the defense, to be honest with you, I player is uh, C.J. Mosley, yes. which mm -hmm. will help uh, them on uh, defense. Remember, they, they, they lost. You know, they lost to Ed Reed, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Still retirement of job. Ray Lewis. Yes. So there was a lot of, there, there was a transfer of leadership over there, too. And, and you know, and, and that's not always easy. Yes, they were 8-8 eight eight <laughs> last year, right? Are they going to win more than 8 this year? I think so. I think Jerome? I think they win more than 8 with, with, with the new offense. They'll win more than 8, but... I, I, they don't win the division. Yeah, the division. somebody else. Some, and, some other team. And even yeah. it, right. I wonder, I wonder That'd be a team in Pittsburgh. That'd be a team that's, in Pittsburgh. That's right. That's, it <laughs> comes and goes with Ben. When yes, Ben's good, you know, the rest of the team follows. All right, we'll hear from you guys later on. Thanks okay. for the input.